and we're back. So in case I end up uh, having this uh, break in the recording uh, as an ending and a start for a YouTube episode, then yeah, we're back. Right where we left at. And uh, trying to make that animal taming pen. How much was it? 400. I don't have 400 wood. But otherwise, I'm doing relatively fine. Uh, yeah, let's visit this island for that wood. So there are crocodiles on it. What do I actually need for the wheel of pain other than iron bars? Just basic resources, okay. Okay, okay, so we might want to knock out an NPC for it. It stays unconscious for at least 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. So we do it early enough and then build the Wheel of Pain afterwards. We can get it going. There are a lot of crocodiles on this island here, or this particular location. But there's a exile camp with fixed taskmaster spawn, which is the first NPC that I'm going to tame because taskmasters make taming faster than there place in a Wheel of Pain as an uh, Overseer. I might want to kill at least one of the crocodiles for additional reptile hide. So maybe these two, three. Again, this is bad mojo now. What's up with your AI? You're not supposed to be this smart. Well, now we have to spend some time regenerating. Actually, do we have the suiting buff with this gear? No, that's just food region. So 
do we need more more warmth or what is the temperature meter places at a significant warmth but if this reduces it it does not seem to affect it at all uh, oh. if I equip a torch that's going to bring us more warmth but it's not updating the cooldown will lower it temporarily I want to go past this croc to have even a remote chance of knocking out the taskmaster where he tends to wander a bit and if I engage in melee with these crocs he's going to walk and get himself killed yeah he should be that one like a sheet this time around. Now will they all three aggro at once? Or can I get to them one at a time? So far so good. Who's there? It's those uninterruptible club swings that make taming sometimes a pain. But they can only have the capacity of tame one people at a time. So I'd rather not tame neither of those even though they seem like there might have been an armorer in there. It's probably not a high tier armor because those are basic exiles. I don't think they can get much higher than tier 1 NPC spawns, unless they are a very rare named spawn. I'm almost level 22 and I'm going to get a level when I craft the altar and build the ritual knife because that's two achievements there I'm going to get an achievement by placing this guy into the wheel of pain and I might loot a potion soonish So I'm doing rather fine. I will pull you ashore and hope you don't respawn just yet. Get those and start crafting the Wheel of Pain. Oh, I do need some twine. I thought I had enough, but apparently I do not.
start feeding the gruel to the taskmaster to break her will. And that should be done eventually. So next thing up was that altar of set, I think. Or animal taming pen. I only have a stone for one of them. If I make the pen first, I can start the taming process. No, I actually have a good amount of... Good amount of uh, stone stockpiled. So maybe I can get them both. Glitched escape didn't take me away from the menu, so I had to do some trickery. So that's a vulture set. We'll start crafting ourselves. Then we are also going to make the fireball cauldron. I don't think it's going to take wood, so we can the rest of the wood towards smelting. Mm. And the reptile hide here. Let's put some regular hide because we can place the altar. We don't want it to be near the edge because that might block the expansion. So Let's put it here and hope for the best. That's going to give us the venerated gods, and we're going to craft this tight ritual knife to get the show your re religious zeal achievement. Going to leave some branches here for later. get to make serpent arrows which are nice and that's us at level 23 now so we can start placing some points to otis that's then just encumbrance i'm going to go with strength 10 for the thuggery which allows our truncheon to be double, at least double in effect, with our strength of 10 also giving us something like 20% melee damage buff. I think it's 2% per point in the stat. So yeah, what next? Fireball Cauldron, I think it was 50 iron bars. Why is it glitching like this now? Yeah, we can make that. The taming pen should be finished as well. But we don't have any wood to spend towards procuring shaped wood for now. Place the fireball cauldron down. But we don't have the yellow lotus with us to make the lotus potion. But we can make the aloe extracts, which count as potions. And we're going to get a potion achievement from those. They are basically healing potions in this game. But uh, they weigh as much as potions do, so they're a bit bulky. To be hauled en masse, there are better healing items available later on in the game. No, they made them lighter. So that's nice. Actually, let's keep it in case we get 
royally fucked up by something. And now we are going to go and place our taming pen and get the hyena taming going. And we are going to place the taming pen on this hill here. It might block some trees from respawning, but taming pens are fairly large and uh, you often need to fight to get them placed properly. So that's that. And hyenas like feral flesh, if I remember correctly. And the taming speed for animals seems to be slower than the taming speed for humans. Because the animals are stronger than tier 1 humans. So yeah, let's now rate the black hand base again for clerical purposes. Oh, we have a named named fighter here. And because he's using a one-handed sword, he's going to have some uninterruptible uninter animations, which make him a little bit more painful to kill. But kill him if we will. There's actually an achievement for placing a named Thrall. Unfortunately, we are not going to get it just yet. Also, that would have been nice. It's considering if I should drink the aloe extract now, but we didn't take enough damage to really warrant that just yet. Hands where I can, I can see, see them, them I think that's a dancer. Yeah. Oh. And we got one bleeding. Bleeding can be quite deadly in this game, as a deep up condition, because most of the healing done in this game is cancelled when you take damage. So when you get bleeding stack for, I don't know, is it 10 seconds? Put your weapon up. You won't be able to use most healing items to keep yourself from dying if you get excessive amounts of bleed. I think bandages might be one of the few ways to cope with that situation. But I don't generally use bandages myself. But now we can think about using the aloe. So it's 60 hit points that it gave back. Start 
running now and I won't have to kill you. That's a mole. They also have some in uninterruptible attacks and can be sometimes a bother, usually not. You'll death for me now or swing for me later. Usually not. Small is one of the better weapons for PvE, in my opinion, in this game. Since they nerfed the two-handed sword a bit. Actually, I got some coal, so we can start. Smelting process again. Not that it's going to last that much or that long. But since we don't really have that much wood, we can at least try and spend the coal instead. So the hearts go to the altar. And you got four. Did I forget to? process you here. So now we get to make the snake arrows, which poison, and up to 10 stacks of poison, I think, can be applied to a single monster at a time, and there's 50 arrows, might be enough to kill the boss monster on that shore, if we don't get interrupted by an archer like we did in the previous attempt at recording this game that I had, but which I never uploaded, so you probably wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So yeah. I should also fill up that taming pen with additional hyenas, which I might do, like, immediately. I just get to leave some stuff that's weighing me down, because they do weigh a lot. I think I want to go below 
20% carrying capacity. Yeah, there's a handful of striped hyenas in this direction, and there are at least three hyena whelp spawns that we're going to try and capture for the taming purposes. There's something like 20% chance to get the greater hyena when taming them with feral flesh. So it's not guaranteed by any means that you'll get it eventually. It's just a pretty decent chance. But yeah, there's a quite a few hyenas and they might spawn as boss versions, so You just keep yourself mobile, you might avoid crippling attacks. Yeah, that looks like a boss. I try and pull them to this location. So that when we go this way, they might have their pathfinding AI confused for a bit. Or not. Okay, that was a... Little bit too close for comfort. The bosses hit really hard. But yeah, there are two whelps. Three whelps. They're away. I just remembered that I didn't craft a bed to this base or a bedroll so let's not die if possible we'd have to do some walking why haven't you reset yet is it because you're stuck there or no. We'll get some more hit points going and then we'll get those whelps. <laughs> Luckily we do have some degree of crippling resistance. I'm really sure there was supposed to be three of you. That's one. Oh, they're still following. is going to kill that crocodile. Or not, because he wanted to growl at him. And that interrupted his fighting. Stun lock, basically. Yeah, hyenas make really good pets because they attack really fast. I don't think those deal damage because I'm not close enough to them. But no, 
what they do.